Aldarain Modren is called Hoiga Akonta. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome, students. I'm your chemistry teacher. Today, we are going to understand about electrolytic method or electroplating, which is in form one syllabus. What is electrolytic method or electroplating? The term electroplating, it gives an idea, some plating, means something is happening over something in the presence of electricity. Electro comes from electricity. So electrolytic also gives him some idea where in electrolysis, a type of method where the chemical, which is electrolyte, is going some type some kind of change chemical change let's see what's happening electroplating is a process or method where depositing takes place most important word depositing depositing something is coming out of something and going and uh, sitting on something or gathering on something is called depositing here you can see one metal over the other one metal over the other by means of a process electrolysis by sending the current breaking of the chemicals that chemicals the uh, the one of the ion is going and settling on the other ion let's see here why we use this electroplating or electrolytic method why the reason is to prevent the metals from corrosion or to protect the metals against corrosion and to improve the look or appearance of the metal the principle behind this electroplating is the whole electroplating process takes place in electrolytic cell you already know that any electrolytic cell contains two electrodes one is anode and another one is cathode so what is anode made up of and what is cathode made up of anode is made up of a metal which is to be deposited means a pure metal cathode is electrode where the object acts as cathode which means it is a metal is to deposit means on the cathode the pure is coming and depositing if the pure one is anode the impure one is cathode you can consider the whole process takes place where in the electrolytic cell then what is electrolyte as you know from the previous classes from the previous knowledge electrolyte is a chemical in aqueous solution which can dissociate which can break into ions electrolyte is an aqueous solution of salt aqueous solution of salt salt contains two ions of the respective metal the metal which we are using for electroplating the salt of that metal will be the electrolyte let's see the picture in the next few in few minutes now what is the procedure the electroplating is a procedure where what is happening in this process the object to be electroplated is cleaned with sand washed with caustic soda solution sodium hydroxide solution caustic soda solution and finally it should be cleaned or washed with water how it is happening let's see here as i told you anode as i told you anode is made up of metal which is to be deposited means the pure one you can consider here one example given example is chromium and another one is nickel the cathode is the 
is made up of object that is to be electroplated means on the cathode we are going to plate something we are going to cover something with the help of anode so the cathode is a sheet of iron on the iron we are going to deposit with chromium or nickel with the help of electricity in the process electrolysis so what is happening here the electrolyte in the system is a salt the metal being deposited so from the electrolyte something is happening means the ions are separating now let's see here electrolytic tank is made up of the we can call it a cell or tank which is made up of cement or glass or wood where as i told you two electrodes are present anode cathode are suspended or placed or present these electrodes see in the cell to undergo electrolysis process we need energy electricity that electricity the source is the source is here battery so electrodes are anode electrode cathode electrode they are connected to the battery when the current is passed what happens when the current is passed anode which is a pure the metal form dissolves anode starts dissolving in the solution and what happens ions you see ions in the solution those ions will migrate migrate means they move anode dissolves ions move to the cathode or they discharge on the cathode or they deposit on the cathode means they cover the cathode the ions which are released from the anode they go and sit on the or they go and cover the cathode or deposit the on the cathode as a result as a result what is happening because of the discharge the ions are going and depositing that thing will form as a thin layer of metal deposits thin layer of metal which deposits on the cathode or object then after that that object is taken out and clean taken out and clean now here given some of the examples of electroplating let's see some of the examples of electroplating first one electroplating of silver means using silver with the help using silver we are depositing silver on the some other like you can say iron let's see here the example if you see here in the industries what is happening this electroplating of silver or silver electroplating this is a spoon which is not pure silver which is made up of iron let us assume iron this is a silver this is a silver nitrate solution this is electrolyte when you pass the electricity this spoon it is connected here to the battery with the wire the silver pure anode this acts as anode this pure silver acts as anode so what's happening here when source electric source is sent the anode starts dissolving means here ion is formed means silver dissolves and forms as a ag plus this ag plus this silver ion goes and deposits on the cathode deposits on the cathode so that becomes as silver spoon so if you see the ionic equation here silver at the anode here it is dissolving when it dissolves it changes into silver ion and loses the electron at cathode what is happening spoon is a cathode this spoon is a cathode on the cathode this silver is going and covering the silver you can see ag plus when ag plus comes here the cathode gives the electron to the silver then it again changes into silver metal means as deposits next here you can see according to the sentence silver is carried out 
by establishing electric uh, electroplating of silver is carried out here pure piece of silver this is the pure piece of silver which acts as anode pure piece of silver which acts as anode which is dipped in the solution remember salt solution of the anode this is the salt solution of the anode anode silver silver nitrate so silver nitrate solution the cathode which is a spool let us take it as some metal or iron which is coated with the help of silver so anode dissolves see here silver is dissolving and the ions silver ions are migrating to the cathode and the cathode is and the cathode is what is happening to the cathode cathode is covered by the metal that is silver metal so if you see here now again the simple form let us see let us try to understand this in the, with the help of these diagrams electroplating process so battery plus minus you know the two will be there in the electrolytic cell two uh, signs that is positive sign negative signs or two electrodes anode and cathode so what is happening here this is copper electrode and this is brass electrode so this whole solution so, uh, copper sulfate solution so here you can see copper ions depositing here and uh, on the some metal here the sulfate ions moving towards the copper electrode and if you see here electroplating of copper if you see this as a, some type of uh, metal one type of metal this is a copper which is an anode which is very pure when power electricity is passed this dissolves ions copper ions are moving here and you can see surrounding it is plating they are plated over this right i mean they are covering this cathode so this is called as copper coating this is cathode and this solution is copper sulfate solution which is a electrolyte if you see this big picture theory diagram of electroplating net ion movement see ion movement here Cu2 plus is moving this side, SO42 minus is moving that side. C plus is moving towards minus, minus is moving towards plus. Remember this point. And this small line indicates the minus electrode, the bigger line indicates positive electrode. Now, if you see here, what is this this is having copper sulfate solution this is copper sulfate solution so deposit the main aim is deposit of copper metal on object surface here the cop we are using copper sulfate solution it clearly indicates that we are going to deposit the copper we are going to plate the copper electroplate the copper see copper is coming here so copper will deposit here it is is clear now as i said positive ions are attracted towards uh, minus that is negative electrode and negative ions are attracted towards positive electrode so metal ions here deposited so next if you see here the negative metal the dissolves you can take copper zinc chromium silver any so here we have taken copper so copper anode dissolving so you can see it is dissolving right this part you can see here if you see here and here if you compare these two parts you can see the size is decreasing is dissolving it is dissolving as going where going here and covering coating or plating so the electrolyte here is copper sulfate solution so electrolyte may be made up of copper sulfate may be made up of zinc uh, silver nitrate may be made up of zinc sulfate if you want to deposit copper sulfate uh, if you want to deposit copper we take copper sulfate if you want to deposit silver we take silver nitrate if you want to deposit zinc we take zinc sulfate as electrolytes here copper silver chromium zinc so these are the metal atoms so, so here it's clear no so here what is happening another point reduction 
so gain of electrons here the copper comes here gains the electron so reduction takes place gain of electron is reduction here oxidation takes place loss of electron going so oxidation takes place if you go to the next concept i mean the next picture here you can see electroplating and different again different diagrams so you can see here silver spoon silver coating on the spoons and here you can see different coatings copper and here this process of electrolysis this is the key in the key manufacturing process this is a sample here this is another coin mm, plating on the coins so if you see here electroplating of chromium the electroplating of chromium is carried out in the same way as we did in the last last slide here in this the object to be electroplated is dipped in the aqueous solution of as i said salt of that metal chromium sulfate containing little sulfuric acid remember this point as an electrolyte so object is electroplated so chromium cathode while anode is antimonial lead anode is antimonial lead this concept is uh, out of scope for you so here what happens the electrolyte ionizes and provides cr3 plus ions it is providing cr3 plus ions which reduces and goes and deposits on the cathode next if you see here electroplating minus cathode plus anode so this is anode is pure chromium this is chromium uh, you can see here chromium sulfate solution this is electrolyte so anode start dissolving chromium comes here so object is coated with this is coated with chromium you can see the ionic equation chromium loses three electrons no here here what is happening chromium is losing three electrons and becoming cr3 plus then comes here then this cr3 plus will take the electrons and as a chromium it gets deposited see your chromium plating in different types of uh, materials or objects you can see here on the tap electroplating on the on the tap it is electroplating and here kitchen stove looks like stainless steel electroplated even these parts are also electroplated here car grill electroplated wheels are better electroplated to avoid rust cycle handles the parts of the cycle electroplated bicycle bell which is also electroplated so many many in daily life many things we see are nowadays electroplated materials so for the convenience the steel is usually plated first with nickel then it is plated with chromium why because it depends on the addition because it will not attract uh, it will not be strongly cover so first steel is first with nickel it covers well then chromium it gives good production next mainly this electroplating is to avoid the moisture to react with the metal or metal strip and next the nickel or copper provides what addition it provides addition it fixes the chromium well deposited so it lasts longer means life will be more life of the metal will be life of the material will be for long time then this type of electroplating resists corrosion and gives bright silvery appearance and the object's life will be for many years if you see the zinc electroplating same process but here we are using zinc so here you can see anode you can see this is anode and 
yes anode this is a zinc changing into zinc ions going towards this cathode which is one type of metal any one metal you can take iron so this electrolyte here we use is zinc sulfate so zinc going and depositing here he, not here here only this part depositing zinc is deposited on this metal if you see here clearly zinc electrolyte here zinc electrolyte or you can say zinc sulfate solution zinc and going and depositing on this part object to be present you can call it as a bolt right so bolts are coated with zinc to avoid rusting for long life here you can see the example the bolts coated with zinc the bolts coated with zinc and here also some parts the zinc atoms are plated out as a metallic zinc zn2 plus this is the equation during electroplating and here copper on the where it is electroplated on the copper electroplated so connecting the positive lead to the zinc electrode removes electrons from the zinc electrode so electrons are going out of the zinc electrode here you can see the equation form zn2 plus zinc losing two electrons forming into ion that goes and deposits on the copper if you see plating electroplating of tin by seeing this picture you can easily understand because the same process but here we are using the tin tin symbol is s tin symbol is sn which acts as anode pure tin this you can see here this material is decreasing i mean it is going here you can see here it is depositing tin is depositing so here copper acts as cathode on the copper we are depositing tin here you can see the picture tin plating so tin is protecting the copper tin is protecting the copper because copper easily undergo corrosion and it it reacts with some of the food items may cause poison so metallic tin so copper is protected by the tin next if you see here electrolytic refining of copper how copper is cleaned or pure so cleaning means we are going to take first impure copper that impure copper is refined or cleaned with the help of this electrolytic method in cell that cell is electrolytic cell the whole process we can consider it as electrolysis so what is happening impure copper as i told you here impure copper is acting as anode and pure copper acts as cathode so this is a difference comparing to the comparing to the previous process here you can see impure is anode pure is cathode so the solution will be copper sulfate solution metallic solution so which acts as electrolyte so here as you know that in the electrolytic cell two process takes place one is oxidation another one is reduction oxidation loss of electron is oxidation reduction gain of electron is reduction oxidation reaction takes place at anode remember this point loss of electron takes place at anode reduction takes place at cathode gain of electrons takes place at cathode now what is happening here where oxidation to whom oxidation is happening to whom reduction is happening copper atoms from the impure copper copper atoms from the impure copper they lose electrons they lose electrons to the anode and they get dissolved in the solution so the, they become copper ions the copper ions start moving to the cathode so then copper ions when they go to the cathode they deposit there on the cathode so what is happening at the cathode the copper takes the electrons at the cathode and deposits them on the cathode so the copper ions present in the solution they go to the cathode they are attracted towards the cathode or you can say they have migrate to the cathode at the cathode they gain electrons they take the electrons at the cathode and settle there and they become settlement they become neutral neutral no charge when they become neutral 
they sit there they deposit they deposit on the cathode in this process what is happening impure copper is dissolving impure copper is eaten away or dissolving to get purified copper or to get purified cathode electrode if you see the picture here what's happening so the impurities during the copper electrolysis here dissolving here here you can see impure copper when it dissolves and comes and settles here you can see the picture the settling here this is acidified copper sulfate solution copper sulfate solution having some acid contains some acid so electrolytic refining of copper here you can see the another form of the same process copper becoming to co2 plus means two electrons are left here this co2 plus comes here to the electrode what happens it takes the electrons and settles impure copper anode so same process this is plus and this is minus so pure copper cathode this cathode pure copper this is impure copper so you can see this waste material here when copper is moving the waste metal is getting dissolved here so by this we conclude this topic of uh, electroplating so better you study well thank you